Hey guys, Samantha here. So on this um, little episode video, again, we're talking about the ethical slut, Janet Hardy, Dossie Easton. I'd like to talk a little bit about what they call the rights and responsibilities of the single slut. And again, if this is your first video in this book, slut is just saying someone who's reclaimed their sexuality. It is not the normal societal meaning for the word. So really just single people. So uh, let's start with what they call the rights of single people. So some of the rights listed, the ones that I think um, are really important to consider. Um, first one, you have the right to be treated with respect. You're not just a half a person because you are single. This is something that in some societies you are kind of taught not to believe, that you are less if you're without another person. That is not true. You are no less if you are single. So that is definitely something to remember. Um, you have the right to have your feelings heard, respected, and responded to. Now, somebody might not be able to give you something that you want or to satisfy those feelings, but you do have a right to be heard and they do have a right to be respected. Uh, you have the right to set limits. That goes back to boundaries. This is what I'm comfortable with. This is what I'm okay with. You have the right to do that. Somebody may not be willing to, you know, go out with you, date you, have a sexual relationship with you because of those boundaries. They might say, those are not for me. I'm looking for a different type of boundary set. Maybe you can discuss those. But regardless, you have a right to set those boundaries. Do not let anybody tell you different. You have the right to count. Everybody counts, including you. That one is fairly obvious. You have the right to be valued, welcomed, respected as the wonderful human being that you are. And you have the right not to be blamed for problems in other people's relationships. So the last one, you have the right not to be blamed for problems in other people's relationships. This goes back to um, ethical non-monogamous relationships. If you are with somebody who is in another relationship, don't feel that your existence with them or your relationship with them is due to a problem in that relationship. That is separate from you. Uh, hopefully you guys are practicing an ethical non-monogamous relationship and everyone is aware and on board but make sure you separate yourself from their problems with another relationship those are not your fault in any way the second section they reference is the responsibilities of the single slut and i'm sorry by the way guys and i forgot to say this if you are following along in the third edition paperback we are at page 226 in this section uh, so the responsibilities of the single slut some of the ones that I found important. Uh, you're responsible for developing and maintaining good solid boundaries. Boundaries are how you can tell where you end and the next person begins. Very important. Good boundaries are strong, clear, and flexible. Bad boundaries are weak, foggy, and brittle. So and that's just referencing you need to have a boundary for yourself. Don't get lost in another person. And make sure that your boundaries are what you're comfortable with, but be flexible in talking to someone about those. You may have a line that you're not willing to go past. No one's saying you should change that, but you should be flexible in the conversation about them. The next one is you are responsible for making clear agreements, agreements about time, um, public and private behavior, courtesies, shared spaces, etc. Uh, so that really, shared spaces and the courtesies on time, that really goes back to any kind of ethical non-monogamous relationship, if you are taking part in those, maybe as a secondary partner, a tetra partner, or a unicorn, you wanna make sure that you set those boundaries, that everybody knows these are what our time agreements are, this day of the week is for this person, this day of the week is for that person, uh, so on and so forth. You are responsible for being clear when you want to say no. So there is a whole section in this book on consent, and we'll get into that more later. But if you are uncomfortable with something, it is your responsibility to say no. This goes for any type of relationship. Um, tell them if you don't want to do something. You know, no one is a mind reader. Let them know that you don't want to be involved in that activity or whatever it is. Uh, you are responsible for a safer sex. That means, you know, opening up a discussion with your partner and your partner partners possibly um, about what kind of safe sex you're going to have. Maybe that involves using condoms, uh, maybe that involves, you know, fluid transfer or not, whatever that is for you, just make sure you do have that discussion and everyone is on board with it. 
Uh, you are responsible for being straightforward about your intentions, and you are responsible for owning your feelings. These are two things that are really important to me. Um, owning your feelings, we talked a little bit about in an earlier video. That's especially helpful when it comes to setting guidelines, setting boundaries. You'll hear me say that word a lot. And also working through jealousy. Owning your feelings as your reaction to an object, um, to a specific situation, and not that someone made you feel that way. We'll talk about that more later, but that is a, a big part here. Um, and then as far as being straightforward about your intentions, that's not wiggling your way into a relationship with someone, hoping to break up their relationship with someone else, or pretending that you want to have a sexual relationship when you really want something more serious, let's say a marriage. Tell somebody what you want, be honest with them. That's best for everybody involved, and that way no one gets hurt, at least by that particular um, aspect. So there are other ones listed in this, but basically, and this is again in the high 220s, 226, 227, 228 of the ethical slut, they're just talking about some responsibilities and some rights you have. This doesn't just apply to single people, it really applies to everyone in and out of a relationship, but good things to remember. If you agree with any of those or disagree with them, please leave a comment, let me know what your thoughts are. If you've read this book and you have another responsibility or right from the book that you think is important that I didn't talk about, please leave a comment. Let me know. I'd love to discuss it with you. Thanks for hanging out.